In this video, we're going to talk more about trade secret protection. In particular, we're going to talk about policies and practices that startups can have to ensure that they actually have trade secret protection in their sensitive proprietary information that they're attempting to keep secret. Trade secret policies will differ vastly between large technology companies, such as Fortune 500 companies, and smaller early stage tar startups. But any startup company can have at least some form of a basic trade secret policy. A basic trade secret policy for startups should address at least the following aspects. First, it should attempt to identify the various types of information which it would potentially attempt to claim is covered by trade secret protection. It would be very difficult down the road to claim to a court that you have trade secret protection in a certain type of information if you don't have some document or some policy, either in hard copy form or electronic, stating that that category of information is something you consider a trade secret. Again, categories of information that, that could be considered trade secrets are customer lists, business plans, schematics, source code, manufacturing techniques, sales techniques. Um, if you um, would consider this trade secret protection, you should specify that in your trade secret policy. Second, you should notify your employees or personnel that you claim trade secret protection in this type of information. And you should routinely remind those employees or personnel that have access to this information that, again, your company considers it a trade secret and therefore you need to take reasonable precautions to maintain the secrecy of that information. Next, you should segregate and attempt to protect that information in at least some way. Now, a big company may have separate physical space or even facilities that it uses to house its trade secrets. A startup company, this may simply be separate files on its computer, but there should be some form of segregation for information that you consider sensitive and trade secret. You should also control and monitor access to this information. Now, again, with an early stage startup with only two to five founders, probably everyone has access to your trade secret information, but you should at least specify that, uh, show that you're at least thinking about who are the types of people that will allow to access this information, and then have some way of logging or monitoring when and how they access that information. A startup's trade secret policy should also discuss email usage and document sharing system usage. It's very common now for people to use document sharing um, programs such as Google Drive, Dropbox, Box. Um, you need to at least think about which of those have sufficient security and protection for you to actually share your trade secret information with um, and then have that in writing in your trade secret policy. A trade secret policy should also address how you interact with third parties, when it's permissible to share sensitive or trade secret information with third, policy, with third parties, and what type of documents need to be in place when those conversations uh, take place. Typical documents that are used to implement a trade secret policy include non-disclosure agreements, which can be used with third parties. You should also think about how robust or simple your NDA needs to be based upon the sensitivity of the information being disclosed, and we'll talk about that in a future video. Other documents that are used to protect trade secrets include proprietary information invention and assignment agreements, commonly called PIAs, which a startup should use with any employee or person working for the startup. And besides having intellectual property assignment language, those documents also include confidentiality language, and procedures covering when an employee comes on to the company and when the employee departs the company, because those are the two big events where trade secret problems can arise. An employee coming on to a company can contaminate the company with trade secret information they're bringing from a prior employer. And on the other side, when an employee leaves your startup, um, they can even inadvertently take with them trade secret information, because again, it's information that may just be in their mind. Um, it may not be actual technology that they have to walk out the door with. Independent contractors who may not sign PIAs and may not have access to all the company's proprietary information, nonetheless, uh, there probably should be a confidentiality clause in that independent contractor agreement if the independent contractor is accessing in any way any sensitive information of your company um, or anything that you'd claim trade secret protection for. And then lastly, even a basic trade secret policy for an early stage startup should have some language covering visitors. Um, startups can uh, you know, be sharing space with other people. 
in an incubator, accelerator, um, and in general their, their, their physical location tends to be much less formal than a big established company. Um, but even for someone sharing space in an accelerator incubator, your policy should have some language about how you'd handle visitors or people that you're kind of bringing into your space, what information you're going to show them, um, and you know, to any extent uh, you're going to have that visitor have to um, come to any agreement, um, such as a visitor policy or a visitor agreement that would cover what information they see and what they can do with that information upon leaving your startup space. Again, startup policies are going to differ based upon the facts and circumstances of your company. And as your company grows, your policy is probably going to become much more robust and extensive. But even an early stage company should have something in writing covering what your startup considers to be trade secrets and how the people that work with your company uh, treat and can access those trade secrets.